early 80s, Clark still realised something that seemed quite counterintuitive to many. That larger, many thought floppier rings can be sufficiently rigid to allow the directing of stereochemistry, spatial arrangement, of reactions from existing substituents already on the ring. There could be two key orientations of an alkene within the ring. Firstly, where the hydrogens, in this case, were facing up and down, and a chemical interacting with the pi orbital would have to approach from the front or the back as we're looking at it here. Secondly, where the hydrogens are facing in and out of the ring, and any chemical approach would have to come from the top or the bottom. Still determined that whilst the first option is possible, the second option is prohibited by transannular ring strain of the hydrogen facing in towards the ring. Let's consider this methyl cyclooctanone. Initially, we need to think in 3D and reflect upon the likely conformation of the ring. The lowest energy conformation is boat chair, and it is highly energetically beneficial for the methyl group to be equatorial rather than axial, as that would have undesirable 1-3 diaxial interactions. The axial methyl group has a steric interaction with a group, in this case hydrogen, on the third carbon from the carbon the methyl group is attached to. This is avoided by the ring being locked in the conformation with an equatorial methyl. The ketone is exposed to LDA, or lithium diisopropyl amide. This forms the lithium enolate. Very much like the alkene we just saw, the enolate's double bond faces towards us, so the chemical will either approach from the front or the back in this depiction. Now at this point, there is another conformation with a similar energy level that can also form. Note that both conformations have a methyl group in an equatorial position. It's either on the boat section of the former or the chair section of the latter. These conformations proceed to react with iodomethane. The frontal approach of iodomethane results in the conformers with the methyl group in the equatorial position. However, if the approach comes from behind, that would generate axial methyl groups, but that would mean the chemical passing through the ring itself, and that is very sterically problematic. Thus, the result is very high diastereoselectivity for the diastereomer related to the frontal approach. 